Hey, everybody, it's Lon Seidman here with CTTechJunkie.com, here with a preview of Windows 8. This just came out from Microsoft, and it promises to change your world forever. And if you upgrade to it, you certainly will have a changed world forever because it is remarkably different from Windows 7 and probably all the other Windows uh, releases since 1995 and Windows 95 came out. So let's take a look. We have a, a Dell touchscreen that was provided to us for review by Amazon. Uh, it is a pretty slick interface, actually, when you do have a touch screen. This is the lock screen. Uh, so you just kind of push it out of the way when you want to load in. And uh, we'll go to our keyboard here and type in our password. And that brings you to the opening screen here. And this is a lot different than what you might be accustomed to with Windows. It is replacing the start menu completely with this new home screen. And uh, Windows is now kind of this uh, morphed hybrid between a tablet interface and a traditional desktop computer interface. When you're in the Windows uh, screen here and you run a Windows application designed for Windows 8, so if we click on Internet Explorer, uh, it runs full screen. It looks very much like a tablet application. In fact, if you're using uh, the new Windows uh, Microsoft Surface device, this will look a lot fam very familiar because they're trying to keep a consistent interface between the two. Um, so that's how uh, that looks. Now, if you want to get back to your home screen, you now have to get on your keyboard and hit the Windows key right here. Um, and that will take you back to the start menu. Uh, if you are in the traditional desktop mode, because there still are a number of Windows applications that don't run uh, as fancy as these do, uh, you're brought to a traditional desktop screen like you were familiar with, except it's missing the start menu. So in order to get at all your applications, you have to either go down in the corner here and hit the start uh, button on the screen or hit the start or the Windows button on your keyboard uh, to come back to this screen here. Um, they're also making a version of Microsoft Office that kind of runs both as a full screen app and as a desktop application. And you may be wondering, some of these, these uh, apps, especially the built-in ones, uh, don't actually have a way to quit. And what happens now is they run consistently in the background uh, and constantly in the background. And then when uh, there's memory needs or something happens that needs to uh, grab uh, some more system memory, it will kill the Windows 8 application that's running in the background to make more room for it. So it works a lot like the, uh, the iPad does where it kind of manages all those things for you that you don't need to quit, keep quitting and reopening applications. Uh, the Windows 8 apps are really pretty slick. This is the built-in weather application. So they try to put a lot of information available to you right at your, at your fingertips. Um, but my biggest gripe is the fact that for most of us who use a computer uh, during the day for work, especially people in enterprise environments, uh, this is not something that you're going to want to use to do work on. I mean, this is more entertainment and more informational. Uh, the desktop uh, part of application portion of this thing has been largely kept the same, except it doesn't really work the way uh, Windows 7 all the way through Windows 95 did in that you don't have an easy way to get at your applications without having to jump through some distractions uh, to get there and some other things. So I, th I think for a lot of folks, if uh, if you're looking for uh, to, to upgrade from Windows 7, I would probably advise you not to just right away because it is a significant change. Um, it, it's not much better. In fact, a lot of there is some under the hood improvements, but a lot of those were done to make this uh, touchscreen interface work a lot more smoothly and have it work more tablet like. Uh, so you're not going to gain a lot uh, under the hood by just simply upgrading, but you will have a significant change in how the interface works for you. So my advice would be at the early onset here, if you don't have one of these fancy new touchscreen computers, uh, hang on for a little while because I think there's going to be some changes uh, probably in the near future because once this gets into people's hands and they get very confused with the operating system, uh, they're probably going to push back. And I could see Microsoft uh, putting some things back in to get some of those Windows 8 improvements out to the consumers without completely changing their world all at once. Uh, you're seeing with Apple, who's, who's also trying to bridge the tablet and desktop computer divide uh, by slowly integrating features that make sense into the version of, of Mac OS that's out right now, Mac OS X Lion. Uh, but Microsoft is going all in and trying to have a consistent interface across all of their tablet computers, their touchscreen computers, and the desktop. And I don't think it's going to work quite as they expect it to in the coming weeks. But uh, it is very solid. It actually is a, is a really nice-looking application. Uh, very impressed that Microsoft did come up with this because for so long they've kind of lagged behind a lot of the other competitors in the industry, namely Apple and Google, who have been dominating the phone and tablet space. But uh, this is a you know an improvement, but it is a change. So if you're not ready for a big change in how you conduct your daily life on your computer, I would hold off. 
Uh, for those who are adventurous, it is a pretty cool upgrade, and it will undoubtedly bring some additional and very interesting features down the road. So this is Lon Seidman with the Windows 8 preview. You can check out my full review at cttechjunkie.com. Thanks for watching.